We are in the last days of September. Congress has just four days to fund the government and avert a shutdown before September 30th. That's the deadline. Joining us now with more Punchbowl uh, News co-founder Jake Sherman and an NBC News and MSNBC political contributor. Good morning to you. How do you handicap it now? I just read your newsletter this morning. We should talk about the, the Ukraine piece of the aid, which seems to be, I don't know if you think that's the only sticking point, but a sticking point. Break it down for us. So there's a couple things going on, Andrew, that are worth thinking about. The Senate, which has been on the sidelines so far of this government funding fight, is starting to move on their own stopgap measure, which right now they're trying to keep very clean, meaning little or no Ukraine funding for 45 days, perhaps a little bit of disaster relief. The only question right now is can Kevin McCarthy, who has promised to uh, uh, fund the border and to institute new, new border policies and to cut spending, can he put that on the floor? So the binary in front of McCarthy now, theoretically, if the Senate is able to pass this bill, is should he upset the right flank of his conference in order to avert a government shutdown? Because if he puts this on the floor, he risks one of those snap votes on his leadership which uh, would be very difficult for him. I'm not saying he can't beat it, but they could challenge his speakership. And that would be a tough thing for McCarthy. So as we tick towards Sunday, Andrew, Sunday night, the government shuts down. I think a lot of this will become more clear. And we'll obviously speak to Kevin McCarthy today to see how he, how he thinks about this funding bill coming from the Senate. What, what is the chance that there is um, a vote on his, on his leadership? And, and is, is, that, is that effectively what's going to hold him back from doing this? Is that the only thing? So I think it's there's a very good chance if he puts a clean CR on the floor that there will be a vote on his leadership. And again, he has a very slim majority. So you have to assume either he loses it or Democrats back him up and vote with him because they don't want anyone who's more to the right of McCarthy. So that's the first question. Um, the, 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 the larger question here is, I would say, on the Ukraine aid piece, Andrew, which is Thank can... You. Um, in a month or so, in 45 days or so, can Congress come together on a Ukraine package if they punt now? I think there's a very, uh, there are big questions about that. And, and is this the reason he wouldn't put this on the floor? Now, I don't, I don't want to uh, pretend I know everything that McCarthy is thinking, but listen, he has said the government needs to cut spending even in a short-term package. And he has said that they should, that, the, that Congress should put in place new border policies. So all of those things on the table, I mean, I think it would be difficult for him to put a clean spending bill on the floor. Yeah, but Jake, he also won't put the the compromise that's come from the, the what are they called? The, you know, the, the 64 problem members, solvers the problem solvers, yeah. right, that they've come up with because that would be cooperating with Democrats. And the problem solvers have things like additional border spending as part of that program. I, I mean, I just at some point. These are someone's going to you know bring a vote about his leadership. But what leadership does he get when that small group of Republicans is basically running things anyway? That's going to be frustrating to the rest uh, of the Republicans in the House. It's a fair question, and I think you're seeing the moderates, Becky, the 18 or so Republicans that are in these districts that Joe Biden won, get increasingly frustrated with McCarthy's leadership. Although they don't want what's on the other side of McCarthy. Now there are two phases here. There's before a shutdown and there's after a shutdown. Before a shutdown, McCarthy doesn't have much wiggle room. After the government shuts down for three, four or five days, he might have the leeway to get something on the floor from the Problem Solvers Caucus or the Senate. Um, and okay. I think that's just a different scenario but once the government is shut down. Why, why does he have more leeway once the government shuts down? I don't, I don't get it. It, 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 it because, means that because other this people is a will stupid be more decision. willing to work? Yeah. Yeah. This is a stupid decision for Republicans, period. I'll say that flat out. Joe Biden, if you look at polls, is is not uh, doing as well as some Democrats would hope. There are a lot of things that Republicans could be talking about Joe Biden on, whether it's the border, uh, investigations, any host of things. And Republicans holding one branch of the legislative process, they don't hold the Senate, they don't hold the White House, are going to shut down the government, and they will get not get anything for that. Nobody... Uh, shutdowns don't work, Becky. We've seen this. We have a long history of shutdowns not working. 2013, 2018 into 2019, they don't work. So right. McCarthy hopes, if you're in the leadership, you hope that people realize that after the government is shut down and he has more leeway to help Republicans get out of it. Hey, Jake, can I switch gears on you before, before I let you go, just to get your take on, on President Biden? 
go, going to stand with the UAW or not, and, and this idea that Trump was going to, and what is really happening there? Do you have a, a perspective or view? I do, yeah. I mean, listen, Democrats were on him hard about not going to Detroit and not standing with, with union workers. He says he's the most union-friendly president ever, um, and he has not been out there. There have been a lot of members of Congress, a lot of public officials who have uh, walked the picket line with UAW. I don't, think, I don't think Biden had a choice here. I think he had to do it, and I think Democrats will say he was too late to it. Some Democrats will say he was too late to it. But listen, you had Hakeem Jeffries, the House Democratic leader. You had many senators, many members of Congress. And I think that, that Democrats were wondering where Biden was. But was this spurred on by the idea that Trump was going to do it? And is, I don't think will so. Will Trump do it I, now? I personally don't. I personally don't think so. I mean, listen, uh, the union has made clear that Trump is not exactly welcome uh, and would not be a positive development. But I, I really don't think this was pushed by Donald Trump.